Hello everyone, you're listening to Alternative Revelations with Linda Emanuel. And this is podcast number 97, and it's a big, big, important podcast for my listeners. And before I get started, I have to say this disclaimer that I'm not a doctor, nor am I a medical practitioner, therefore I cannot give medical advice. And the podcast, this podcast is for information and education purposes only. And with that said and done, I am going to begin this podcast. Now, I just got word a couple minutes ago, or about, well, actually two hours ago, about the possibility that Chinese Chinese manufacturers are exporting herbs laced with arsenic. And I also would like to say that the Golden Seal extract capsules that I endorsed in my earlier podcast, I no longer endorse. And then I'm going to, I can't go through every single golden seal but i am going to give you a way creator has just conveyed to me how to detect arsenic and it is so cool so um there's other herbs besides golden seal that are laced with arsenic and these are uh, china is really not doing them they are controlled by the jesuits these are the jesuits behind this they know that people are getting sick and will buy herbs so you got to be very careful about what herbs you are buying and from what source now the following is a way that creator has told me for you to simply test for arsenic and first i'm going to give you the concept behind it now i had a earlier early 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 on i had a podcast called it's no accident why some people do not get sick and i'm going to explain to you about alkaline and acid minerals first so you can understand the chemical reaction that is going to take place when you test for arsenic now in my earlier podcast um, there are alkaline minerals and there are acidic minerals and acidic and alkaline minerals bind together and neutralize themselves That is what's happening when you drink that can of diet soda. It hits the bloodstream. Your body will pull calcium out of your bones, which is alkaline mineral. And it will neutralize that soda or the chemicals in that soda. So I I wonder if you've ever heard of the concept. You do not, and this, please do not do this. uh, You do not mix bleach and ammonia. They are both super duper alkaline chemicals. When you mix them together, you may die. I'm serious. You will die of the fumes if you're not in a ventilated area. So never, 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 never mix ammonia and bleach. My mother-in-law, my ex-mother-in-law almost died. She mixed bleach and ammonia. She was cleaning the bathroom. She passed out on the, on the bathroom floor. So what I'm going to tell you about this test is sort of similar to what I just said. Arsenic is acidic. And so is lemon juice. It's, it's acidic when you ingest it. And when it breaks down in the body, it's alkaline. So what you do if you want to test to see if something is full of arsenic, you empty a capsule into a little um, cup or dish, add a little bit of water, dissolve it. And add a little bit of lemon juice. Now, you, you want to keep your children away and pets away when you're doing this. You want to have plenty of ventilation. You're not going to go into a uh, major, uh, you know, getting sick. It's just want to have ventilation. You can add the lemon juice to the dissolved capsule. If it bubbles, it's got arsenic in it. So um, that's a way to test. And then I, at least I don't have to answer all the questions about what's what because uh, Creator just gave me this test. So if it bubbles, it's a possibility it's arsenic in there. there. Arsenic is acidic and so is lemon juice when you add it to something. So that should help you decipher whether something has arsenic in it. And again, you can't give golden seal or any herbs to children the only safe in my opinion the only safe herbs for children who are fighting cancer or disease is mild silver protein 
our uh, frequency, our oxygen. That's it. Children and pets, very, very vulnerable to alkaloids. Not safe to give pets or children alkaloids. It could, <clears throat> I don't know the, the safety of uh, marijuana. That I, I, I'm not going to ask Creator about that right now, but be, be safe. You know, use, your, use common sense. You can test to see if something has arsenic. And uh, I've gotten many confirmations that many of the herbs coming out of China right now are laced with arsenic. Doesn't, not just golden seal by itself. So please, please, please beware. And remember, arsenic is highly acidic, and so is lemon juice. It should bubble if there's a chemical reaction. So I hope this was beneficial. I hope this was educational. And, you know, if you, if you get something laced with arsenic, take it back. Send it back to the manufacturer. Tell them you want your money back. And we'll show those Jesuits that they that we can outsmart them. Their specialty is poisoning arsenic. They've they've poisoned just about every president we've had, except unless they use a bullet, you know. So they they poisoned uh, many presidents. I won't go through that list. So that is their tool of that's their trade tool, is the poison cup. That's in their Jesuit oath. So these people are very very clever. They are the ones behind communism. The dawn of the new day, that is their communist slogan. You'll see it everywhere. They're brainwashing us with it. So we're going to outsmart those Jesuits. Um, and without me going, getting my podcast shut down and giving you name brands, I don't think they can touch me if you do your own chemical testing. So I'm going to end this podcast. Uh, again, I hope it was beneficial. Uh, please beware of herbs coming out of China. I'm not saying every one of them is laced with arsenic, but you have the tools to test and do it. Do the test if you if you feel need be, but have plenty of ventilation. Don't do it in a closet. Keep children away from the solution. Now it's going to be a highly acidic solution, so I don't have any uh, advice how to dispose of it, but it's, it's going to be a very small amount. So it's got to be real lemon juice. It can't be some artificial lemon juice. It's got to be acidic. And lemon juice is acidic when it goes down, but it turns alkaline when it breaks down in the body. So I really do suggest you listen to my podcast. It's no accident why some people do not get sick. It's a very interesting podcast. So I'm going to end it here by saying, my old saying, be aware, prepare, and be safe from these creatures called the Jesuits and the new world order. So until next time, good night and God bless.